Hello everyone. So basically, on this day, I will tell you a build for Abyss 12 that I think kinda well for main DPS Chongli. Basically, what I am using here, yeah. it's better to have Archaic Petra, but I don't have the proper Archaic Petra one. So I am using Gladiator's Finale and Noblesse Oblige Artifacts with details like this. I have 33% crit rate and crit damage and I have some new damage bonus also. This is the only thing you gonna focus on. Let's not focus on the substat. I'm just gonna show you that if you focus on critical and high damage on Chongli and recharger on every other character. So I have this MC. The MC is the main the most important one because he will use skill spells and without even a resonance from Chongli, when the skill hits some enemies, it will also regen your energy and that's what we are going to need. And there is also a sacrificial bow on Penti here for mainly recharging also, recharging himself and you can see it is only level 50. So we can focus on the showcase of Chongli. And here Bennett with full noblesse just to deal the finishing damage and also help Chongli deal more damage. Okay, let's go straight into the Abyss 12. So basically what you wanna do is keep spamming every skills you have until Chongli have the, his meteor back. Of course, first we want Penti for disable maybe. Then we go to Chongli so he can use another burst later on when the energy already recharges. So as you can see, we are we are using sacrificial there. And then after just a little moment, Chongli almost have his meteor back again. And then Chongli will use better again, as you can see, it will give a lot of damage and when they are frozen, you can use the skills of Geo main character to recharge also, and then you will have your ulti back again, boom, and then when it's petrified, you can use Geo again, I'm sorry, I'm missing, shit. <laughs> But you can use Fenty again, and Fenty has sacrificial too for regenerating energy of the team. Then it will heal Fenty again, slowly again, and without you knowing, already up again. The another ult, and the soul resist 100 k damage, and then Fenty again, Bennett again to regen also, totally. And then MC again, Bennett, MT, MC Ult, MC Skills, Chongli, just in a little moment, another Aventor will be coming, Bennett will be this, another Aventi, and just like that, without, even without higher damage on all your team, 
We only have needed with high damage output here and also jumping. We finish the floor needed very fast time. As you can see the meteor and boom. Everyone is almost dead. You can finish them. And this was also very good because MC actually give you critical damage. Uh, I mean, sorry. MC also give you critical rate. Oke, okay, until the next one. We can get also get the character elemental burst instantly restore, but I don't wanna show you that. Even in the second half, we can also still use the same strategy for this. Because as you can see, just remember to use the MC heal after using your Chongloi. Every time you can aim freely. With the MCPO, you use it, so it will keep giving you geo energy at almost every couple seconds. As you can see, it is super easy even in the second floor of round floor of abyss. Also, Fendi has really good synergy here. Always the best unit in the game. No donation set, no debate. <laughs> you cannot debate that Fendi is the best unit in the game. With a Fendi, I think they can work. Anything, literally anything, can work here. See? Even with level 50 weapons on every character Twenty minutes later Okay, now the last part which is floor 12 chamber 3 first i actually do not prepare the ultimate of NT, so i don't think this will work so well we actually want to start with the first of NT. but if you cannot let's see this do some improvisation as you can see That is the core kill for this. You can use another animo for this part too. But I think I think you will be the best one. There's only one person with high burst damage artifact and weapon here. It's only Chongli. But you can see yourself. The result is actually very very good. We don't have ice on our team, so it will be a bit longer to kill this thunder weapon. But even with without the ice element, we can actually do decent time. So, Look at this dude. <laughs> Suck. Damage with only a chunk of Bennett damage. Actually, we would be better if I have higher level weapon on my carcass. But in here, as you can see, I only have good weapon on Jongri and Bennett. Another weapon. 
the girl's part is very very good. And this is actually an easy mode of everything. Well, I find it this is one of the mo easiest way to pass every 12 with decent stars and you can see yourself we already get six stars from the floor the first floor and second floor i think that's it from me i hope it will help you guys on how to use jongli thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for the ultimate build of all my characters I will reveal all the characters build and artifacts on 20k subscribers please help me subscribe and grow this channel so I can make better thanks for watching Bye.